Hello everybody and welcome back to Coder, Star Wars Coder, where my characters, my poor characters are having a hard time. But I am going to run really quick down back to the lower levels. It might take a while, so I'm not going to, you know, show it all to you. But I did want to give the Promised Land journals back to the people. And then we'll go up and do that stupid race thing. Okay, I actually apparently hadn't gone in this door at the Volker base and just found a med pack, so yay me. Med pack for me. I saw you talking with Rukul. Oh. He told you his legends about the promised land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. What? Uh, yeah, why are you, what? <laughs> For an outcast, I've got oh, things pretty okay. good. The village relies on me to bring in Capitalism. food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I mean, I get villagers. it. I won't let that happen. Nobody wants to fade into obscurity, but also, yeah, how can you, like, I mean, it's just, it's, it's like, just because you have it slightly better than everybody else doesn't mean you have it good. You still have it bad, you know? And, and he's, like, he's willing to cling on to the few scraps of, like, blown-up pride that he's got in this, like, scum lord of a place, you know? And, and is willing to sacrifice other people's happiness just so he can, like, live in this weird little, like, bubble of, like, I'm more important than I think I am. That's horrible. How can you be so self-centered? Don't judge me. I learned a long time ago that if I want to survive down here, I've got to look out for number one. The two explorers who went searching for the promised land might have found something... They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence wow. and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. If you saved up enough credits for that, like, you could maybe get out of here. Like, I don't know if it works like that. It probably doesn't. But, like, I don't know. No, I won't. I won't don't do be a fool. I'm the only one here who can pay you for those journals. Rukil has nothing. He won't be able to come up with any kind of reward. I'm asking for anything. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me, and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? I mean, credits come and go. Yeah, okay. You'll come back and see me if you want a deal. But, uh... I don't know. Good deeds kind of stick around. Like, as cheesy as that sounds, you know? Yeah, bye. Where's Rukil's tent? Anyway, I didn't realize that was going to happen. Um, but I got caught by that guy as I was walking through. Okay, good. It just, like, uh, auto-snapped me. Welcome back, Upworlder. I have all three journals. Here, take them. Can it be true? Is it possible I don't even know if this actually last, works. The dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I... I can hardly bear to look. I hope. Oh, hmm. uh, okay. Yes, yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the Promised Land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. Okay. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Frukil, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? Wow! No, oh, it's it actually gonna be. go through! Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakgul-infested areas. 
I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. Oh, we could wow. leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Oh, wow. Thank you once again, Upworld. Nice! I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the promised land is long and arduous. Oh my gosh, I hope it works out. Yeah. No, I got I got things to do. I can't go. Uh, goodbye, Rukil, and good luck. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen. But the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead I'm of us. I'm really glad. I was worried that it was going to be one of those things where it was like... Um... You know, there actually isn't a promised land we found out, blah, blah, blah. Wow! Is everybody going to be gone now? Everybody's gone! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! That's actually so cool! I actually don't know if I did this last time and I'm going to feel really bad if I didn't. But, wow! I don't I feel like I must have. I feel like I must have, especially because I was playing on, like, live stream. And people were like, but people would have been like, hey, uh, did you remember <laughs> to go? And I'd be like, oh, yeah, sure. Okay, how do I get out? To the lower city? No, wait. We're just. Mm -hmm. I wonder if going up this elevator is going to get me in trouble with the Sith, so I'll save. But that's really cool. I was kind of worried, like I was saying, that, um, the. Um, the journals would be like, there's actually no promised land, because it sounded like a fairy tale, and maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe it isn't actually there, and they're all gonna die on their way there to the rat ghouls, but I don't know, maybe at least it's better than, uh, better than sitting there waiting to die slowly, you know? At least they went off on, like, a journey, you know? So, yep, oh, wait. Okay, no, we're good. I was like, I need to go to the Hidden Beck base. <laughs> but, oh, that's so cool. I'm glad. And I don't know, maybe they could still get there and then realize there's nothing there, you know? And they've lost, like, or at least they'd have to go all the way back. Because ha being next to the elevator is help was helpful for them to get supplies. But hopefully this new, uh... This new promised land will actually be something really cool, because it sounded really, really nice, honestly. Like a place where, like, crops could grow and everything from, like, the previous inhabitants or something like that. You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator yeah, with you? Yeah, And happy, warm, fuzzy feelings. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Uh, okay, I lived up to my end of the deal. Now you better come through. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype um, accelerator. That's kind of implied. <laughs> well, you won't stand a chance. Gaden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype Fair. engine into the race. Fair. Why are you doing this, Gaddon? I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm <laughs> the prototype engine. The accelerator is unstable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders oh to do this. Oh my god. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. You, you're if expendable. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. <laughs> Sounds like you've got all your bases covered. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. Okay, I'm ready. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. Yeah, okay. And you have the look of a racer about uh -huh. you. Uh-huh. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. Yeah. Okay. A restless night at the Beck base. In the morning, one of the Becks takes you to the swoop racing pits where only racers and mechanics are allowed to go. I'm gonna die. I hate racing mini games. I really, it's like my least favorite mini game. Excuse me. 
Give me 80,000 puzzles to do. I'd rather do that than a, than a race. Okay. Oh, I've never done this before. Uh, yeah, tell me how it's done. <laughs> First, don't crash. Okay, got it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I won't crash and burn immediately. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. Switch gears when it's getting hot. Yes, yeah, I don't even know how the buttons work! <laughs> I don't! Oh, okay, good. I don't have to be punching other people. Oh, okay. So I have to do it in four or five. Okay. How do we get the race started? Okay. Oh, okay, nice. So he can fix it up. That probably won't happen. Cool. Save game again. <laughs> uh, race time. Okay, I think we're also getting kind of close to the point where I won't be having to redo the. Ah! I can't talk to you. She does not look good. Jeez, she must have like a, there must be like a field. Ah, okay, a neural disruptor cholera. Okay, that explains why she looks so sick. Uh, but that, that's her. That's Bastula. Bastula. Um, but yeah, I think we're getting close to the point where I don't have to be redoing stuff anymore. And we're gonna get back to like the blind stuff soon. Uh -huh. okay. Only one rider. Okay. What's the time to be? Okay. 3843. I wanna have another rider. Ah, okay. Oh, uh, something to keep in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, for Bastula's freedom. Left click the mouse to accelerate and shift gears. Use the movement keys to avoid obstacles. And hit accelerator pads. Okay. Uh. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this right. Uh, is that an accelerator pad? I think that is an accelerator pad. Okay. Just don't hit the debris. I think I'm going as fast as I can. Like, I don't think I can click the left mouse button anymore. Or can I? I don't know. Do I, like, hold it down? Oh! Okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta keep clicking it, I guess? That was bad. That was really bad. Thanks. Okay, also, I don't have to worry about it blowing up on me, I think, mid-race, most likely. Um, 
It's only like, I only have four or five tries to do it. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right. It seems like... Okay, maybe I am. Oh boy. This is fast, oh my gosh. Whew! Okay, much better. Alright. Yay! I did it! Whoop, whoop! Okay, I did it! Nice! Well, so far. Uh, look at the board. Oh no. I refuse to talk to these people. It's just gonna be a waste of time. Okay. Alright, I don't know. Okay, we can. Too bad it's dead. Thanks. Kontichani. Kipuna. Puna Yeah, okay. Here I go. La boda ni will kiss my toma. Okay. Oh wait, wow, not okay. Uba patu kot. 2892. I don't know if I can do Although I think, oh crap, I think I'm maybe not supposed to do such a great job. Um, because then it makes it so that it's harder for me in the long run. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh my gosh! I hate these kind of things. Do I have to do all five? Oh my gosh. Nobody's gonna be that time, please? Oh, please! Yes! <laughs> I only had to do it three times! Yay! I bow. I bow. Sleepopadona,ruli,ha,dongachi,hokabi,tiska,du,su,ki,ku,ba,na,bona,na,i,ka,chu,ah,do,in,ko,tu,to,ba,da,bun,kwa,li,a,gan,don,a,go,chu,
I hope this one uh, hit uh, faster enough. Oh, look at the people running. Oh, wow, the little guys went down really easy. Come on, hit, hit him, hit him. Ow. He is just taking so much damage. I don't know if Bastila can technically go down. I don't see any... I'm like not doing any damage to him. Let's see if I can't... If Bastila can technically go down, I'm gonna feel bad. Oh. oh. I'm sorry, Bastila. I was trying. I can't seem to do anything to him. This is fun. Oh, uh, maybe... Blur, maybe? There, got finally got a hit in. Jeez. Wow, everything's missing. Cool. Oh, finally. I don't think Bashel's actually doing any damage. She's just making it so that he's a little more distracted and I can maybe get... Hit his back, you know? Yeah, take that, you fool. How you feeling? Uh... Hang on, I can loot him maybe? I don't know. Are we... are we good? Wow, double-bladed lightsaber, Bredrick's belt, Bredrick's armband, blah blah blah. Hi. Maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me no, as no. a prize... No, no! No, no! I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these how, swoop gangs? How did you recognize me? Uh, winning the swoop race was the only way I could save you. Save me? <laughs> what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. Hey, I did okay! Noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say Oh my gosh! You. Oh my gosh, lady! Take a chill pill! stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Oh my gosh. Um, I didn't need your help with those vulgars. I can handle myself. Yes, I suppose you can. Well, I appreciate your attempt to save me, even if it didn't I gave them a distraction. But let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Enderspire? Karth and I are working on a plan to get off Tarsus. Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Uh, I misjudged no. you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please you, take you me to speak, Karth right you, away. You speak too brashly. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize she's we're got, here. Uh, she's very proud. She's uh, very much... Uh, she looks down on people, it seems like, a lot. Oh, God! Is her hair longer in there? I don't remember. Was that just a regular? You cannot win, Revan. This is a okay. Cause she's famous for killing Revan. Except uh, apparently that's not what happened. Uh, Revan, <laughs> really? Just got like bumped Bastard, around. You're alive. Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need and to Revan figure out a way died. to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? We were trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge... Oh, you're back session, in charge. we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued what? me from Brezhik. I don't know, I know why you're stuck on that! I know you know it, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the Thank real issue. Thank you, Karth! That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability is... Calm down, lady! This war, ...and it will serve us well here, I am sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. 
Um, he's right. You aren't showing much leadership ability right now. Oh, crap. Okay, so computer kind of freaked out. I think we don't have sound. I literally have like a minute left in this, so we're just gonna have to deal with no sound, but <laughs> I'm really sorry. It really hates running it. It hit my computer, my desktop hates running this in like the smaller like resolution. It really hates it. Ah, so, okay. He's right. You aren't showing much leadership ability right now, Bastila. I have no doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council would put you in charge if you weren't prepared, but here you are, acting like a spoiled child. My bad. No sound. It's okay. I make up my own voices. Are we gonna be okay? I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? I don't know. I don't even think you guys can hear it. Maybe you can hear it? I don't Nope, you can't. You can't hear it either. <laughs> it's freaking out. First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer's out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Carl. The sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Don't worry. I won't let that happen. <laughs> no. Uh, let's go find a way off this planet. I think we'll need some help getting off Taurus. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. It, is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Technical difficulties! Uh, something weird happened. Okay, so that's what it was. Right, we had, when we first met, it was a vision. A vision? A vision of what? Of you, fighting a dark Jedi. Revan, I guess. This is strange. Such visions are often a sign of false sensitivity. Uh, are you saying I can use the Force? I I'm not sure. It may be that when you have some connection to the Force, it may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. So this is, uh, this is the first time I've had it. I don't think it is the first time I've had a vision. The force is complicated. Even with I, with all my training, cannot fully understand yet. This is a matter, matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Taurus, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stay focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Taurus. Okay. <laughs> I am so sorry. I knew something was kind of wrong when I didn't hear any background noise when I came back in. But you know what? We're... I'll turn everything off. Everything will be fine. We'll be good. It's good. So I checked earlier today and it was the part right after we got Bastila. This is where um, my, my redo of like sort of the let's play sort of is done. And now we will go back to the blind stuff, which just to remind you, I was live streaming it. So there will, I will be editing that as well. You know, editing stuff out of that. But like, you know, it's still kind of a different feel than the let's play sort of, you know what I mean? It's a little bit of a different vibe. Um, so be ready to return to that, and thank you all so much for putting up with this redo stuff. It's been pretty fun. I did get to see at least one thing I hadn't seen before, and you got to hear me try to pretend to be Karth and Bastion <laughs> for a few minutes. So, sorry again. Everything will be fine next time, uh, because we're going back to video I recorded, like, almost two years ago. So, yeah. So, thank you all again for putting up with this. I sincerely appreciate it. It's been really fun, and... I will see you in the next one.